Right, what's up everyone, Jonathan here with another Pixeled Moment, and in this video I want to look at a tripod that I got over Christmas. And this is the Kingjoy VT1500, the Video Tripod 1500, professional photographic equipment. Now, just to give you a little quick unboxing, already as you can see it comes in its own carrying bag which automatically gives it extra points. Now this tripod is what I think one of the better tripods for anyone on a budget on under $100 that you can get. And here's why. Let's go over what makes up this tripod and then why I like it and things that I think could be improved upon. So thick zipper, which will probably help in most cases. Now this stands at just about two feet by itself, unextended, but it can go, it can extend up to 65 inches. Now this tripod does come with its own little warranty card and the instruction manual. Now this being a Chinese product, all the instructions are in Chinese. Oh! Now starting from the ground up, you've got the rubber feet, which are sort of on a, a ball head down here attached and they can be put on uh, many different terrains depending on your uh, video shooting situation. And I think rubber is very good for this because that means it won't slide anywhere. Now to complement the rubber feet and also because these legs can only extend to a certain angle instead of a more expensive tripod which would probably allow you to extend to a more horizontal, maybe 90 degree angle if you need to get down low. Now up above the rubber feet you have the leg flip locks which depending if you like the flip locks here or tension knobs to adjust the tightness that's entirely up to you. In the middle of the tripod, we have the center column locking knob, which can help depending on how high, if you need that little extra room in a tight spot. Say you're shooting behind somebody at a sporting event and you don't have much room behind the seats. This can help you get in that tight spot and help you be situated so you're not sliding in case the rubber feet have worn. Next, you have the hand crank, which can help give you an extra bit of height if you need it. Now, I will say to uh, be cautious about the hand crank and when you need to raise or lower it, because depending on the weight, which this tripod can hold up to 22 pounds of a payload, so that's pretty good, but you don't want to force it down or up because that can wear and tear over time. But to prevent that, you do have the center column locking knob. So if you tighten it up, you don't have to worry. You have your tilt and pan arm, which you can unscrew this and put it on the other side if you so wish. I'm left-handed, but I have no need to do that. And the option to screw or unscrew and turn the pan tilt arm up or have it curved down. It's entirely your choice, but I think having that option is quite nice. Now I will say the first time I took this out of the box in the bag and I tried panning from side to side, I noticed one side was a bit tight and the panning to the other side was a bit loose and it didn't take me very long to realize that the looseness was because it was almost coming off of the screw. And I realized that um, the mounting screw underneath this, as you could take it off, is I believe a 3 8 inch, which you could place a ball head directly on there or place a ball head uh, on top with, I believe this is the quarter inch screw. So you have the pan tension adjustment knob right here and locking knob right here for panning. Now up top for the tilt, you have the tilt tension adjustment knob, Go smoother or tighter if you need, and the locking. And finally on top, you have the quick release plate 
and the quick release itself, which pops up a, a bit, but it takes a little getting used to when you're taking it out you have to pull up one side and then slide it out because of uh, how the plastic is built. And some parts of this are plastic, such as the hand crank, and the legs, however, are aluminum alloy. So depending on your shooting conditions, um, that'll last a while, which I think is pretty good. And putting it back on, you wanna make sure when you slide it in, press down this little metal piece here so it can snap back into place. There, like so, which may take a little getting used to. Also, what kind of tripod would this be without the little bubble? Now going over what I like about this tripod is that the fluid head is so much an improvement over my last tripod, which uh, had one of the connectors to a leg break off. So I knew I needed to get a new one. And I like it when I'm shooting video, mostly for theater, I don't have to slow it down uh, so much myself. I can use the fluid motion and it'll give it a much sturdier, uh, smoother stop. And this tripod is mainly for people like parents and people on a budget who want to shoot, you know, sporting events for their kids or live theater and even still photography will work just fine. However, I think that if you're going to dedicate yourself to purely landscape photography, you may want to look at uh, a more expensive tripod that will let you extend the legs at a more horizontal angle if you need to get lower on the ground from your perspective to shoot something. But what I mainly find this very useful for is that if I'm in a theater standing in the back of the house in the corner and I'm right beside one row of seats in the back and there's people sitting right in front of me, I can use every bit of height that I can get, you know, including pulling the center column up and uh, ex extending this to the thinnest, sturdiest uh, standing height that it can go. Because a lot of times I end up getting the backs of people's heads and I would rather be higher up and shooting more at an angle downwards than risk getting someone's shiny balding pattern uh, while shooting straight on. Now other things that I think could be improved upon, one, the quick release plate in addition to it being a little difficult to get out of its slot is the metal screw is very small in comparison to my last uh, tripod quick release plate. And I would like to see a, just a slightly bigger uh, grip. Also, it is right beside uh, this plastic screw joint here. See? There. Now the hand crank, personally, I'm not a huge fan of. I know it's going to take me a little getting used to, but I'm used to uh, my former tripod. You just loosened up the center column knot and pulled up the center column. But I realize that depending on your payload and things, that can be a little difficult for people uh, with certain physical limitations or uh, injured hands. So the hand crank may make that a bit easier for you. Uh, let me know down in the comment section below if you prefer the hand crank over just the, the tension knob. So other than that, I can't really think of anything that I dislike or think should be improved on this tripod other than the uh, quick release plate issues and the hand crank itself. But overall, for under $100, I think this goes for about $80 on Amazon. That's a lot of bang for your buck for this tripod. So again, if you're on a budget looking for another tripod or your first tripod and you don't have a whole lot of money, uh, give it a look-see. And if you have one, let me know down in the comment section below uh, what you think of it. And so 
That's all for now. Be excellent, and I'll see y'all in the next one.